people that know me are, are thanking themselves at the moment that it is only five minutes that you're going to uh, get through here. Uh, this is a great little project, hard work, tearing your hair out at times, out at the Berkeley Nature Reserve, which is located in Lake Illawarra, near the northern shores. Uh, back in 2005, Nasho Parks put together a management plan and decided they needed to do something about the different problems, threats and management issues out on the islands. But given the um, funding constraints, uh, it was thought at first to start off little and uh, work, I'll go back a bit, work in small areas to um, try to help the threatened plants that they found out there. So the main threats that we hit, and all of you have come across these, is lantana and exotic vines, exo exotic climbers and lantana. Both then and now, these are the main key threatening processes that we are dealing with. When we first got to the island, we started there in 2007, 2008. When we first got there, you couldn't walk through the island. Where there wasn't huge, dense, Lantana, you had all our fun uh, exotics, Madeira, uh, morning glories, turkey rhubarbs, moth vines. I think the only one we didn't have was cat's claw. Um, some balloon vine floated um, out after a couple of years. So we were set to work to try and protect originally the two rare and endangered plants. Um, one is a Haloragus, the other one is a Sinatrum. Given the time constraints and the budget constraints, we decided to put in plots, 20 by 20 metre plots, on both Hooker Island and Gooseberry Island. Um, we had to guesstimate where the plants were at, in, in certain areas because um, in Hooker Island there was no Haloragus found when we went out there. Um, in Gooseberry Island, there was just one Haloragus plant on one of the plots we did. We went in, did the 20 by 20 metre plots, comprehensive weeded, and plus attacked the other key threatening processes. So over the years, we had some very slow but fantastic success. Um, and that just gives you a break up in general. The weed numbers went down as well as their, d their density. The plant, the native species numbers and d uh, density went up. Uh, this is one of the 20 by 20 metre plots on Gooseberry Island. Um, this has already had pri primary uh, weeding and you know I won't go into the methodology, there was a variety of hand weeding to um, selective spraying. So after the primary weeding period, we had some Haloragus come up after about um, 14, 15 months. And we found with the Haloragus could be anywhere from 12 to 24 months before we got any regeneration occurring. This is one of the uh, amazing areas on there that we were getting extremely frustrated by for a whole range of reasons. There was, with the budget constraints at times, we, we felt we might have had enough time out there, but also there was July to November or July to December, we weren't being on site because of various reasons. And so this area, we didn't think we were going anywhere with, we didn't think we were breaking the weed cycle. And so this was typical of the suite of weeds we were dealing with. It had lantana up to the red line. It had uh, exotic climbers all over the place. We gradually worked our way through that painstakingly again and again, each year coming back and consolidating the core and expanding out where possible. Um, we found that slow and steady still does win the race. Um, and I said to someone before that we've had peak oil and peak water, we might 
be having peak funds, so we might have to get used to working with less. So um, bigger is better. If anyone wants to know about that, I will tell you down the track. Thanks, John. Thank you very much. Thank you. And wait a minute, last two. I wanted that because I love that picture. Perseverance, a lone panic tree, and a seedling.